one of the most common questions I get is, what's the difference between a wettable powder or water dispersant granule or a SC or an EC formulation? The difference between an EC, a WDG and a, an NSC um, formulation. And one of the easiest ways of explaining it is uh, particle size. Um, an EC formulation with a prop may have a size of a particulate of around about this size here when you get up then to a water dispersant granule, which could be up in that size particulate. Then we go to a, a suspension concentrate, which can then be a size of a particulate compared to the others of this size. So this is all in comparison of all these particulates sticking to a water molecule. And this globulous molecule is probably the size and shape of a bean bag in comparison. So this water droplet may hold 50 to 100 of these or up to a thousand of these and in between. So this is what actually helps deliver the chemistries onto our surfaces. So we have to be aware that there are different painted surfaces, there are different um, applications, whether it's to a porous surface or whether it's to a, a painted surface, something like colour bond door. You don't want to be uh, hitting really hard with a harsh chemistry that's going to either stain or maybe etch that chemistry on, on, onto that paintwork and leave a stain. Uh, if we're doing um, a spray with, let's say, uh, an outside brick home and we're going to spray for spiders in general pest control in spiders and cockroaches, if we're spraying porous brick and we're using an EC formulation, which would be a molecule that size, the pores of those bricks may actually be bigger than that molecule or sort of particulate size. So when the water is absorbed into the porous surface, it's actually trapped inside. So the insects got no area to run across and pick up that active ingredient. So this is where an, e, uh, an SC formulation works very well in that, because if the pores are only this big, that molecule sits on, particulate sits on the outside and the insect can run past and pick it up very readily. So if we're doing something on a very shiny surface like we're doing with tiles, um, or stainless steel in a commercial kitchen and application, those smaller particles will be a lot easier to adhere because they have a bigger surface area of contact with those shinier surfaces. So they are better formulations in those sort of tiled areas because they will actually stick onto the wall. Whereas you think of when this is actually a bigger particulate is sticking on that wall, it's got more room to be either fall off or, or knocked off. So this is where these WDGs or wettable powders are coming into the uniqueness. They have both the size not to get through porosity, but also the size not to have the weight. You really have to one consider the application of the surface, which is a critical part of it, as well as what we're actually targeting, whether they're crawling or, or, or they're flying or, or you know, uh, jumping pests, if you like. So we have to look at the amount of time they contact that surface. We have to understand reasonable weather exposures. Picking your formulation is critical getting good effect or good customer results.